guys. So I watched like two videos on how to customize your iPad with OS 14. So naturally, now I'm like an expert on the topic and I'm gonna show you how to customize your iPad using OS 14. Just kidding, I'm not an expert at all. But I do wanna kind of show you how I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I'm actually really excited for this video cause I was playing around with it a little bit before just to make sure I knew what I was doing. It was so much fun. So I have my little iPad here and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And let me start screen recording so I can actually show you. And if you're new, make sure that you subscribe and like the video and let's start. Ugh, my mom called me. Okay, we'll start over. And this is actually my vision board. So if you want to like know how to make a vision board on your iPad, just let me know. But this is what my iPad looks like before. As you can tell, it's not that cute, you know? But I'm going to show you how to customize everything. Obviously, first thing first, you have to update um, your software to OS 14. I actually already went ahead and did this before, obviously, just so that it was done. But make sure you do that first, and then they're going to ask you to read like some user agreements. Does anyone ever actually read those? I never read them. Pretty sure you're just signing your life away, but like, you know what? For some cute widgets, I say it's worth it. Just do it. And once you update to OS 14, then you have to download another app called Widget Smith, which is actually how you can get the cute little apps on your iPad. So go ahead and go to the App Store and just download Widget Smith. Um, again, I already downloaded it for the video, so we're just gonna open it. But this is what you do, you just click on the size of the widget that you want. So I wanted like a time and date for my medium one and you click on it and you can customize it. So I went with time and date, but um, there's like a lot of cute ones you can do. Actually, should I do time and date now that I'm looking at it? Let's try this one actually, that looks really cute. Mm, actually no. I'll do time and date. <laughs> Maybe we'll like look at that later just to see. And then here you can customize everything. So you can do your font. You can choose like different fonts. Mm. For now, I'm gonna do noteworthy. I think that's the cutest one. And then you can do the background color. So you can choose whatever color you like. They have a lot of cute colors, but I think the pale pink will go well with the background that I'm gonna choose for my iPad, like the wallpaper. So we'll do that. Um, I don't want any borders, so I'm just gonna go back and save, and then let's see, I'll do another medium widget, and this time we'll do, let's see, oh, should I do a photo? Oh, let's do the moon, I feel like everyone was doing the moon, like the two videos I watched, they did the moon, so I'm gonna do it too. Oh, and then you can choose the font. Um... I think, I think I like the chalk duster one, so we'll do that, and then I'll save it, and then I think I'll add some small widgets, let's see, the small one, okay, so it looks like you can do your battery, which I think could be really useful, but I don't think that's super cute, so I think I'll do text, and then let's see, Let's do something. I'll do be kind because I feel like I can always use a little reminder to be kind. I hate all these colors, so let's see. The background, I think I'll do a purple maybe. And then let's see if I can change to a cuter font because this one's kind of ugly. Should be chalk duster. Okay. Save that. And then let's see. What other widget should I do? Oh, I know. I'll do like a manifestation one. Um, so if you're like into manifestation, apparently if you see the numbers like 1111, then <laughs> it means that your manifestations are coming. So I'm just going to do that. do the background we'll do a cream then maybe and then for the font mono for the font maybe 
Okay, so now that I have all my little widgets, then I'm gonna go back to the home screen. So what you do is you just press on one of the icons and you just wait until everything starts to like jiggle. I don't know what it's called when that happens, but now you can add your little widgets from Widgetsmith. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'll click on Widgetsmith and I'll add my medium one and then I'll add my other medium one. So just keep adding all your widgets first and then I'll show you how to get it to the ones that you want. So I'll add the small one and then we'll add another small one. Okay, so now that that's done, you have to click on it and then choose which one you want. So I'll do the first one, there we go. And then that one's right. And then we'll do small two for this one. And there we go. And now you can like move it around. So I'll move mine to the top. This is taking so long. Okay, and then another thing that you can do is you can actually customize all of your apps so you change their appearance and make them look like super aesthetic. I was like kind of watching videos on how to do that, but I don't want to do it in this video. So I feel like it's going to make it really long. So if you want a video about that, like let me know and then maybe I'll do it in the next one. But for now, um, I want to show you guys how I customize my background. So what I do is I just go to Pinterest and I literally type in <laughs> aesthetic I've had wallpaper or something like that. Aesthetic wallpaper iPad. <laughs> and then from there, I just scroll through and like see which one I like. And then if I like one, let's say I'll just like um, go ahead and download it like this. Um, what is this? Anyway, so then you go to photos and then you can just look at all your pictures. <laughs> you guys can see my thumbnail, so it's funny. Okay, but the one I like most is this one. And then what you do is just click on this and you go down, use as wallpaper, and then you can like move it around, see what you like. I think I like this, so I'll set it as my home screen. And then this is what it looks like now. So as you can tell, um, I think I showed you a little before of my screen and this is like the after. I think it looks a lot cuter. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. So I think it looks a lot cuter and I don't know, it was just like so much fun playing around with this. So actually, let's see what this boba background looks like. I'm intrigued. Da, 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 da. It's just wallpaper. Can I make it smaller maybe? Maybe like that. That's cute. I just want to see what it looks like. Ah, <gasps> that's cute too. Oh my gosh. Should we play around with some just like for fun? Oh my gosh, they're all really cute. Okay, well this one is not that good because the font is like super blurry, but if I had a better picture, I feel like it would be good. Oh, this one's like not big enough. Oh my gosh, I think all of them are really cute. Okay, but I'm gonna go back to my original one because I think that one fits like my widget colors the best. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what background you think I should use. I actually think the boba one might be cuter than the one I'm using right now, but yeah. Uh, if you guys end up customizing your iPad, like take a screenshot and like send it to me on Instagram or something because I just think this is so fun. I'm probably gonna send like the next hour just doing this like messing around with it all right guys that was it for today's little video i hope you liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next or if you want me to show you how to make like a vision board for your ipad let me know and yeah i'll see you next time bye